we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father, the source of all blessings, may we receive help this dawn. May we all receive the amazing blessings of prosperity. In all things, may we give thanks to you. And may we all receive faith and not be discouraged. Within thanksgiving, there are miracles. We believe there will be workings within the word. May we surely be thankful and live a life of victory. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's say together, sheep. Today, as a sheep, let's surely receive blessings. Let's find 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24. If you say sheep, then God will make you into a sheep. So if you obey, then you're a sheep. And if you're a sheep, you don't have lackings. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24. Let's, let's read. Let no one seek his own good, but that of his neighbor. Amen. So a life of faith. Faith is to give profit to others. Well, if I give profit to others, does that mean I only have disadvantage? When does God ever say He disadvantages you? He says He gives to you so that you can give to others, that you can live a life of profit. That is a profit to others. That is a life of faith. But even with our neighbor, even within our church, we don't give profit, but we keep doing things that please ourselves. So even though that's greed, you don't you live not knowing that that's greed so if you have greed no matter what you do nothing works out if you think things can work out by greed then god colossians chapter 3 verse 5 he wouldn't record that greed is idolatry you say i don't have greed well you can only know if you have greed when you're put next to someone else when you're by yourself you don't know if you don't give profit to others that is greed Always from that greed comes arguing. 10,000 greed, uh, evils comes from that greed. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. So if you have greed, you are evil in 10,000 ways. So how can you receive salvation? How can you do well? So you have to live giving profit to others. If God gives us this commandment, it's because he's made it possible to do that. You know, if he didn't make it possible, how could we do that? Even a wealthy person cannot give profit to others because they have a limit to their wealth. If they give it to everyone else, then they become a beggar. So, but many people are mistaken. When it says to give profit to others, above money, what is it better to give? To give fame. And above fame, what is better than that? Where God is with you, his favor. So when it says to give profit to others, to give the best, if you give the best, then everything else God will give. So whether it be a sack of rice or a sack of flour or a slice of bread, you know, if someone's starving to death, death that's what you give. But the fundamental is to give, to give the best, which is God being with them. Then after that, God gives them everything. So that is giving glory to God. It's where God is with you. So I have to be right first. That's when God is with me. But because this doesn't happen, everything else. So is it better to have a sack of rice or is it better to have your heart at peace? Well, if you're really hungry when you're about to die, well, a bowl of food is better. But after that, after you've eaten, you want your heart at peace. So because your heart being at peace is best, that's why when God comes, he, uh, when Jesus came, he said, I came to give peace, not a sack of rice. Matthew chapter 4. So it's not that we live by bread alone. So yes, we do need bread as we live on this earth, but more precious than that is the word of God. So it's not to live by bread alone. So more precious than this is the food for our hidden man, God's word. So 
God's word is only with someone who is with God. So you have to give profit to, to others. If you live like this the whole day, how good is that? Even if someone gives a sacrifice to, to others every day, they think that that's good works. But to give joy, peace, all blessings for their children to do well, to share these things, to sh that's that's why God tells us to give profit to others. We say we believe in Jesus, but we only seek our own profit. Why? Because I myself am not doing well. Because I don't have that joy and peace. That's why you think giving a bit of money to others is doing good works. Because we live like this. We think we're going around, you know, doing all these welfare things. but. Um, so, sorry, we think that we're saving others by giving them a sack of rice, but but material things are the basis. Above that is fa fame, and above that is God being with you. So yes, if you give material things to others, there's a limit. But God, He's unlimited. So He says, give prophets so that they can take those blessings that God has prepared. So God helping us at dawn, it means. He's going to make you someone who can be, who can share with others. When you meet someone, if they give, if you have faith, then you're preaching the gospel, which is to give others the way of peace, of of joy. So that is giving profit to others. You know, if you eat, or just because you live in a house made of gold. That does. If your family isn't right, that's a bed of thorns. But to give those people all good things. So even if your your situation's a bit lower, if your heart's at peace, if you're living like a man, if you're able to give profit to others, your business does well straight away. If you, if you're in your business, you truly give help to others. If you go out in the marketplace, if you stand there even for ten minutes, you can see, oh, that's how that person earns money. If you stand there and you see two or three people in there doing their business, you can see with your eyes how you can earn money. Those people who are diligent and faithful. You know, you can see the restaurant owners have entrusted everything to that person. You see, oh, this is what needs to be needed, or you know, someone's ordered the night before. They come in the morning, and they pick it up. So, if you prepare, if you're faithful, people keep asking you to do things. So, if you're diligent and faithful, and if you have expert knowledge about what you're selling. You know, if you can't even buy your own things properly and someone asks you to do something, you ruin everything else, other people's things. So, if you become someone who knows the, who is an expert in what you do, the, you know the best in what you're doing, then people ask you, they, they request you to do their work. You can see who earns money. So, if someone who do, does things rightly, people, they request of that person, you know, 20, 30 people request. But people who don't do well because they don't seek profit to others, the customers, they don't come back. You have to always give profit to others. That's God's word to us. So if there are a million believers of Jesus in our country, that means a million people are receiving help that day. So, then our country would believe in the gospel, but even when the churches, they're fighting because of their greed, they have the heart of a thief. So there's nothing right according to the word, they're only pleasing themselves. Why is it that you argue with your spouse? Because you're, you're not having your, what you want, met. So we have to live for the profit of others. So he says he'll help us at dawn. Psalms chapter 46, verse 5. Let's find that. So he will help us at dawn so that we can give profit to others. Even if 
One million people give profit to one person a day. If a million people receive the taste of God's love, but when you go to your workplace, you know, even if you'll at least meet two or three people, if you give them help, help they will all like you. But why is it people don't like Christians? Because they don't give help. All they do is ask for their their greed to be met, so it's not right according to the word. If you say something's not doing well, it means that you have a lot of greed. So instead of your greed, if you keep giving profit to others, you keep doing well. If you're giving help to your family, to others, how can you not do well? Wherever you are, even if you're in the most corner spot, you'll do well. So each day we have to give help to others. What you plant, you and your children will receive back. That's Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. So if you give help to others, as much as you give help, you receive 30, 60 back. So don't look at that person. It's God who gives to you. It's God who repays. And it's so surprising how you receive back. But people who don't do well, it's always because of their greed. So because of that greed, starting from their spouse, they argue. They're like, why don't you treat me well? So it's not just spousal arguments, but everything they do, with that heart, they go out into society expecting other people to do things for them. So after that, people, they won't have anything to do with them. And so they always end up being lonely. Everything they do, it doesn't work out. And they're like, everything I do, it doesn't work out. It's because they have greed. They have a bad spouse relationship. So if he comes inside of me, if he moves in my heart, and I live with the heart of Jesus Christ, which is to give profit of, profit to others, people keep asking for you to come because they like it. So at Seoul, we had a revival for six, six times. And after calling, calling, that person came here asking to come back for a revival. And they ended up leaving angrily. But why do they keep asking for a revival? Because, because every time, for six, six times, for six years, um, we went. Why? Because it was good. But after six times, now they have to do it themselves. It's like Jesus and the disciples. After three and a half years, you've got to go your way. So you have to change and you have to become someone who knows how to share to others. Otherwise, I might as well be a pastor of that church. If you, if I please myself, if I go to places like that, they treat me so well. But then like a cat, you know, should you only seek the warm places? No, that's greed. Wherever... Wherever you go, if you have to follow God's will, you know, if you seek what's good for yourself, that's like a cat. So because you don't give profit to others, that's why your own things don't work out. So someone who's not doing well, this word it doesn't seem like anything, but if you're not doing well, you have to realize that I only please myself. Oh, but I'm not like that. We'll have a look in your spouse relationship. Straight away you'll see. If you, you have grumblings and you you get sad and you're like, how could that, how dare they, you know, then you're worse when you go out. So no one wants anything to do with you. Receiving persecution because of the Lord and being criticized at different things. So always give profit to others. Why? Because God helps you at dawn. He helps you with everything. He's almighty. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. So because almighty God's helping you, you should give profit to others. So within this amazing promise, may you surely do good works. If you say, oh, if I do this, no one's going to recognize me. Already that's greed. Because you're calculating, that's greed. You can't do well. It's God who's watching. Psalms 139 verse 1. It's God who's watching. According to your actions, your thoughts, He will repay. So if you do, if you do good works to others, your heart's at peace. Even evil people know that. 
After good works, they say their hearts are peace. Why? Because they've done good works. Even though they know this, they can't do it because they're evil. And even if they do those things, they always have a condition. They're always calculating. If I do this, am I going to receive benefit back? But the righteous, they help everyone without conditions. And it's God who knows. And he returns to them and their descendants 30-fold and more. That's Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. Let's read together that God helps at dawn. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Amen. So after we do something, there are many times we think, oh, am I going to be recognized? That's because you haven't repented enough. That means you still haven't thrown everything away in your heart and you're holding on to something. Whether someone recognizes you or not, a sheep obeys. If you obey, then God is responsible for you. So it's you. that's amazing. So light, when it shines, it doesn't say, I've shone this much, you know, now you have to give this back. No, the sun just shines. Those who block it, well, you can't do anything about that. But the ones who receive that light, life sh shoots out, out uh, sprouts out. So God helps at dawn. He, but you have to know who he is. He is almighty. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. So whatever you do, he can help you with that. He can help with everything. Even if you're, it's some very uh, area of specialty of expertise. Even that he can help. So there are people who, who have problems, who their their bodies aren't right. You see, if they help others, people in the world that even they say that person doesn't have human affection. You look at people with problems; they don't even have human affection. But in the world, they say things, but they can't find an answer. So the Lord says, by the blood of Christ, no matter how wrong my personality is, because he changes our inside, someone without blessings changes to become someone who's blessed. Yesterday I was with Deacon Jong, and we went to eat dinner. And after eating, that place said, today we're not receiving payment. And I said, why? And he said, in the new year, I wanted to host you, Pastor. This is a restaurant that doesn't believe in Jesus. And Deacon Jong and I, as we came out, he, he said to me, he, that restaurant owner must know that when he hosts you, Pastor, he'll receive blessings. So this is, you know, no, you know how many, we go there once in a while, you know, how much business have we brought to them? But that's what these restaurants do. I went there to give profit, but if anything, I ended up receiving profit. So what is it when I go there? If something's fallen down or if something's misplaced, I correct that. But, you know, giving profit to others, it doesn't mean you, you know, run around the neighborhood saying, I've brought a sack of rice. No. To If you act like the owner, then then that person straight away knows that you're helping. You don't have to blare out, oh, I'm helping you. They already know. Someone who does, you know, blare that out, there's something not good inside of that person. So if you help others, that person's thankful for that. And so they treat you comfortably. And then if they have workings in their heart, then they also host you. And it's, it's give and take. So... So, because Deacon Jong, he, he knows about business, he said, I find it really hard to give someone of my goods. I'd rather go and buy something expensive and give it to that person. It's not easy to give away the goods that you're selling. Because, you know, this restaurant person, you know, that he's... He's feeding his family with that. You know, before we ate, if he if he told us about the about not having to pay before that, we'd feel uncomfortable. But it's after we ate that he said this. So I haven't done things to give profit to others wherever I go. 
I don't know that I'm giving profit, but those other people, they always do that to me. So the smallest place, whether it be a shop or you have to become someone where they welcome you, where they want to host you. Otherwise, if you're someone where they don't want you to come back again, so always to give profit to others, even if you have to force yourself to give profit to others. You know, if you can't do it joyfully, then you haven't repented enough. So Jesus said, Matthew chapter 20, verse 26 he, to 28, he said, I came to serve to be a slave. So who is it that hates when you serve them and you're a slave to them? So from today, if you receive help at dawn, then this will happen. I can't do it, but if God helps, you can. So with this help, let's be someone who plants a lot so that we, our children, do well and that we can give profit to others. May we live this life. Please live this life. When you do this, then you don't have arguings in your family. It's always, how can I help someone else? If you have that heart, then, you know, you, there's no fightings. If, if you all want to help each other, then your family becomes um, reconciled. Your children do well and your, your society does well. So if you receive help at dawn, then you can't but give help. If you receive light, you can't but reflect light. So every day let's receive this help and be victorious. Let's all pray. Lord, Almighty God's promise of love that He will help us at dawn, we thank you. Whatever we do, may we we believe that you will make us help others. May we help many people and to plant blessings day by day. Today, there will be many people who we meet that are thirsty. There are many people who are stumbling in the darkness and can't find the way. If they're thirsty, help us to give them a drink. If they can't find the way, may we, sh may we share this light and give profit Almighty God's help is without lackings. May we receive help and share that help to many people and to receive blessings back. I have to do well first. My family has to shine. That's where my children shine. And that's when we can share precious things with others. May we surely obey the word and may we receive the blessing that you're responsible for us. How our spouse, spouse relationship, if it's bad, it's because we've, we need to repent that we were greedy, that we only pleased ourselves. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. May we receive help at dawn daily. If I had greed and I complained, then let's repent of this and to share blessings with others. Let's all repent. <laughs>